What will the Denver Broncos do with oh. Aaron Rodgers not coming? How does trading for Russell Wilson sound? According to Tom Pelissero, that's what just happened. Wow. What? No intention of trading Russell Wilson has turned into trading Russell Wilson. What? Wow. Oh, my God. Woof. Here we go. A massive oh. haul, according to Tom Pelissero, my colleague from the NFL Media Group. Nice scoop today, Ian, uh, on Rodgers and then Pelissero on this move. Multiple first-round draft picks plus additional picks and players per sources. Cannot wait to hear what that haul is. It is going to be hefty. A hefty, hefty wow. cinch sack of picks and players. Somebody check Jerry Judy's Twitter. He might yeah, change that frown. Suddenly that he frown, frown now. turned upside down. Oh, wow. Pending Russ's approval. Well, this doesn't get that far without Russ's approval. I mean, what do you think? Somebody's just like Russ is just sitting around. He's just golfing. He's just doing the honeydew list for Ciara. And, and then you just call him up and say, hey, you up for going to the Denver Broncos? Because they're about to trade an insane amount. It's got to be insane. And the what? It's incredible. Washington Commanders must have been like, "Whoa, we couldn't, we couldn't top it." That's how huge this must be. I cannot wait to hear what this is. And by the way, Seattle with no first round picks this year, wow. none. What's Denver picking? Eight, nine? They just got that. That's for sure. Here we go. According to Schefter, this had nothing to do with Rodgers going back to Green Bay. They've been in trade talks with Seattle about Russ for two weeks. I bet. That's a bit because that the answer to that, you know what that means? Rodgers has been going back to Green Bay for two weeks. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Come on. Yeah, you don't throw this deal together Come in, on. in an hour. You're right. No, but that just means that Rodgers has made his intentions known. Yeah. That this contract between Rodgers and the Packers has been going on for a wow. while. And, and it's been... Well known amongst the industry that 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 Rogers is coming back, or at least talking to Green Bay, and they had to start a dual track. Denver, Denver what? in the mix, folks. Denver in the mix. Denver. Wow. In the mix. Right. What a piece of news. Back here on our terrestrial radio outfit, Tom Pelissero, my colleague from the NFL Media Group is reporting, and Adam Schefter is also reporting. This is happening, folks, and I am so sorry for the 12s. But Russell Wilson is going to be a Denver Bronco. Massive haul, says Tom Palacero, including multiple first-round picks plus additional picks and players per sources. Russell Wilson will now have... two games against Patrick Mahomes per year. Russell Wilson... (laughs) will come to SoFi Stadium once a year, not to play the Rams, but to play the Chargers. And Russell Wilson will be playing against the Las Vegas Raiders twice a year because he's coming to the AFC West. He's coming to the AFC. And the Broncos have made a big-time gambit. Seattle, I don't know what they will do. They now have an opportunity I would say, to draft whoever they want. That may not be the case this year. Pete Carroll, at age 70, will, in fact, and I'm sorry, I I know he doesn't want to keep having his age mentioned, but um, it is a rebuild in Seattle. And everything that we were saying at the end of the year last year, that it just had the feeling of it's just not working out anymore. It's just not a fit anymore. Has now been confirmed. And for John Schneider, this is the way out of no first round pick because it belongs to the Jets because of Jamal Adams, a safety that is a culture changer and a, a dynamite guy that that Carroll knows how to use in terms of moving him around and having him rush the passer. But in terms of covering the pass, that's not really your guy at the position. And you trade first-round picks for him. 
you know, and you got him and Bobby Wagner and then some other young kids that you're hoping comes up. Who's going to play quarterback there? What's next for Jeez, there? Because it's not Geno Smith, folks. That's for sure. Right <laughs> now, Jerry Judy, Cortland Sutton, KJ Hamler, Noah Fant are all probably on a group chat. chat well, right as you now, said moments ago, that, points. Like, ah! <laughs> that Jerry Judy's tweet after the Rodgers news that he was returning to Green Bay was let, let uh, like, a, like a, a frown. That's now turned upside down. Wow, that's huge. And then here's my first blush reaction <laughs> Rich, to this. There's Jerry. Oh, he, there it is. Hey, <laughs> there it is. He, he also just tweet. He also just tweeted. That's funny. Oh, we lit with the fire emoji after it. I mean, okay, folks. <laughs> oh, there Denver it is. <laughs> Broncos football. Nathaniel Hackett, come on down. All right, new tweet. Who wins? You know, oh, and Tim Patrick. NFC I forgot West. about him. Yes, I know that. And wherever, oh, Vic, and wherever Vic Fangio is, he's probably like, really? Now? <laughs> now? Oh, really? Right. Now? Yeah. Because, you know, I could have coordinated the defense and handed off that offense to whoever you wanted, you know, with Russ. But I got, you know, Charged. Teddy Bridgewater, and I got Drew Locke, yeah, and I got whoever was the year before that. Fill in the blank. I, I did, that's an interesting thought you just had there, Rich, because he probably is like, wow. Wherever he is, like, really now? And then I do, we do need to say this. Javante Williams? Man. You know, we do need to say this. Uh, it's a very deep end of the pool in the NFC West. AFC West. In the NFC West. Oh, both. Yeah. Well, both. And um, Seattle is in a full-on rebuild now. One would think, unless they, they have another maneuver they can make for a quarterback that would have this team back in the mix right now. But in terms of winning the Super Bowl, in terms of going to Arizona, which, as you know, was a spot where Russell Wilson was terrific for this team. I could think of a couple of games that he had in Arizona for this team, including a Thursday night game I will never forget this. It was a Thursday night game. I think it was right before my daughter was born. So I remember being there in in 2013. And I remember being there, and the 12s just went nuts for this guy. Nuts for this guy. Where we were in the green room. We were in the green room underneath the stadium watching the game on a delay for about two seconds and when you heard a cheer from the fans you know in the stadium because we were we were just down a hallway off the field when you heard a cheer you knew the play that was about to result on television was going to be a good play for the Arizona Cardinals Mm -hmm. you knew when the stadium shook it was going to be a good play for the Seattle Seahawks because the 12s traveled and the 12s hit it and yes, the Legion of Boom was a big reason why the Twelves traveled. But so was this guy. And we also know the last Super Bowl that was played in that building was when Russell Wilson threw the ball and did not hand it off to Marshawn Lynch. And they never got back to being in that spot and being that good. They had a dynasty building and could have gone back to back. We could we could be sitting here saying the Seahawks were the last team to go back to back, and Russ is the last quarterback to do it, not Tom Brady in the aughts. And this is now over. And Seattle goes back to, as they currently are right now, to the team before Russell Wilson got drafted. When we had Pete Carroll on a Thursday night set after a game where they beat Andy Reid's Philadelphia Eagles. I think it was the Dream Team Eagles. Remember that? That they that they were terrible oh, yeah. after the 2011 yeah. lockout when we thought they were going to the Dream Team Not and they the awesome weren't. One, and they Young. were terrible. And Seattle won the game and we had Pete Carroll on the set. Because there was nobody else outside of Marshawn Lynch who wanted no piece of it, even though they were throwing Skittles at the set. 
we didn't know who to ask because there was nobody on the team that was a star or a big name. We asked for the coach because he was the star coach that had just come from USC. And I remember asking him, what's the identity of the team? Which is something you have not asked of Pete Carroll or the Seahawks in well over a decade. They're kind of back to that right now, but that is a gutsy move for Seattle because I'm sure this hall is going to be insane when we hear it. But congrats to Denver and for the 12s. An era is over. An era is over. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.